The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. This was took place uh, 15, 20 years ago. It was Hasidic Rebbe. Hasidic Rebbe is in his house with his students. And a man comes, one of the students comes running in frantic. Rebbe, 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 I have to talk to the Rebbe right now, right now. They rush him into the Rebbe, Rebbe, what is it? Rebbe, Rebbe, my wife is in the hospital, she's giving birth. And the doctors are saying very bad prognosis. They don't know what's going to be. They think it's going to be very bad. What should I do, Rabbi? You got to pray. You got to bless. You gotta... He says, "Don't worry about it. She's going to be fine." He said, "Rabbi, I'm telling you, you don't understand. All the doctors they're standing around. They're all nervous." He said, "Trust me. She's going to be fine." The man goes back to the hospital. Sure enough, his wife is fine. The baby, the wife, everything's fine. So now the students turn to the Rabbi. Rabbi, you're not a prophet. How do you how do you know? Like how do you know? Uh, who told you? You weren't even in the hospital to see what's going to happen. How did you know? He says, I'll tell you. He says, a few days ago we were in shul. And a poor man came collecting from person to person. And a person, one guy gives him a nickel, and I gives him a quarter, and I got 50 cents. And then all of a sudden we heard all the coins splatter on the floor. So everyone turned around to see what happened. So we thought like he dropped the coins. We looked a little closer and we saw what really happened is that he had come over to this man. This poor man came over to this man with the wife. And the man, like everybody else, took out a quarter or something and gave it to him. Apparently this poor man was so frustrated, maybe he wasn't having a good day. And he took the coins and he threw it in the man's face. And he said, you're telling me, you're giving me a quarter? What a miser, what a cheapskate you are. You know, you have, you could do it and you can't, no one, you're insulting and shambling and shambling back on and on and on in front of the whole shoe. Look at him, look what kind of person he is. He gives nothing, he's embarrassment, yelling and screaming. The whole time, the man is quiet, and say a word. After the man is done with his whole diatribe, the, rab, the man says, how much do you need? He pulls out a checkbook and writes in a check for what he needs. He says, the Gemara says in Chulin, this Gemara I didn't tell you, the Gemara says, Tole eres abilima. The world hangs on nothing. What does the Gemara say? What does this mean? The world hangs on the nothingness that somebody says in an argument. You say something to me and I say nothing back. The world hangs on that zechut. The whole world is suspended in midair by the zechut of a person who can be in an argument and responds with nothing. He says, I was confident if the whole world could hang on that nothingness, that his wife could hang on it too. And that's how I knew that she would be fine. There's no greater power. We think usually the power is in the response. The power is in not responding. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.